Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to use Mailhog to test your emails locally. Mailhog is a simple and powerful tool that lets you capture and inspect emails from your application during development without sending them to real email addresses. It is perfect for debugging and ensuring your email functionality works as expected. Let's get started and see how easy it is to set up and use Mailhog. One other benefit of using this mailhog in um, remote areas, like um, for example, I'm currently having internet issues where I am, so I may not be able to use um, emails like Gmail, Outlook, or Yahoo Mail. So I can just use mailhog since internet. Um, I don't need internet to operate mailhog. So for you to operate mailhog is is quite easy. All you have to do is to visit this link over here. So um, this link will be in the description below. Just check um, whatever. If you are using Windows, you come here and um, I think for 64 bits, this is what you should download. I think this will be for 32 bits, and um, yeah, this is the latest uh, release. So just download any one that suits your your device. Then after downloading the um, required um, release, just install it on your device and um, launch it. That will be all for you installing Mailhog. If you are on Linux, you can see um, this one over here for Linux. But if you are on Linux, you don't have to do all this. You can just install from your terminal. And these are the commands that you have to run. The first one will be sudo apt get to install Golang. Okay. Then the second one, if you don't have Git installed on your device, you have to install git then you use this command this go command over here to install mailhog on your linux device and that will be all that will be all basically so that is that is all for installing mailhog it is pretty uh, straightforward so just come here for windows just click on this if you're using 32 bit i think this is the one you are going to download but if you're using linux just run these three commands and you are off so for you to launch Mailhog on Windows, just launch the um, just launch Mailhog. But for Linux, for you to launch Mailhog, um, you have to open your terminal. Then you can you can decide to use the path to the installation file of Mailhog to run your Mailhog, or you can just say Mailhog, and that is it. You can see the Mailhog um, server is off. So for you to see what the user interface looks like just click on this or you can copy the link and paste it so this is um, what the interface looks like um, anytime you send emails this is where you're going to be seeing the emails you can also send attachments as well so you can also you can send the email the text version the HTML version and everything and I'll be demonstrating it here so I wrote a Python script that I'll be using to demonstrate this so this is the Python script over here actually ChatGPT wrote this <laughs> But um, get out. ChatGPT wrote this, so we are going to be using it for for testing. Let me zoom in a bit. So this is this is the code basically. Um, I will try to make the code available. So if you want to use it to test um, the um, to test your mailbox, you can also use it as well. So um, all you have to set is just the SMTP server and the SMTP port. You don't have to set a username and a password. Um, you don't have to do all that. Just SMTP server and your SMTP port. That is all you need. So you can decide to edit the from name and the uh, your name. So this is for the attachments. If you are, uh, this is for the alternatives like the HTML version and the um, the text version. This is what um, this is what makes that possible. Then you configure the message. So this is basically where you set the attachment, I think. Then this is where you are sending the email per se. Okay. And this is a Python function. So you can see all the parameters required for the function to execute properly. So you can see the two email. That is the recipient email. You can see the subject. You can see the text content. You can also see the HTML content. So this is the text version. This is the HTML version and um, the attachment i'm going to be i have to supply a list of items so basically just the path to the the path to the um I, I path to the attachment that is what you're going to be having here the path to the file that is what you're going to be having here this is also the path to another file so basically i, I want to send two attachments with this test email 
So just send email. This is where you are calling the function. This is the function definition and this is the function call. So it's not you can decide to use any programming language of your choice. You can use PHP, JavaScript, whatever you want to use. Okay. Just um, create a system that is capable of launching emails, that is capable of sending out emails. So that is uh, what I'm trying to do here to test the mail hog. So now that um, I've configured my SMTP server and my port, and I am sure that mailhog is running, you can see that mailhog is running. So now I can just come here to launch it. So just launch it. And, um, okay, I think it has, it has sent the email. So just come here. You can see it test email. You can see a few seconds ago, and you can see that it is 434 kilobytes. If you open it, you can see this is the HTML version of the email. If you come here, so you can see this is the HTML version of the email. So if you want to see the plain text version, come here, you will see the plain text version. Okay, this is the plain text version of the email, the email that we just sent. Then after that, um, for the attachment, um, as at the time of recording this video, if you want to see the attachment, you have to come to this mine section. So you can see the evolution.csv attachment, you can also see the second attachment. So just download, then, then you also download it. So just come here, then you open whatever you want to open. If I open the attachment, you can see it is working fine. Come here and also, um, you can see it is working fine. So Mailhog works. Mailhub works particularly. I love to use this for my emails in development, particularly because of internet. Particularly because of internet, and you know that some of these companies you have to pay for SMTP server. Although I did a tutorial where on my YouTube channel where you can get free SMTP servers. I think I did this somewhere in um, this this tutorial over here. So I showed how you can um, configure your SMTPs from. I used Outlook in this tutorial. So Outlook is an option, but I prefer to use Mailhog practically because I'm not internet is not involved. So all my emails they are calibrated locally. I can view them, I can test them both the HTML version and um, the text version. I can send attachments. So for development, I recommend you using Mailhog. Then when you are moving to production, you can simply change your SMTP servers. So if this were a production ready uh, software, for example, all I have to do is just to change the SMTP server, the SMTP port, I will add the username, the password, then the, the um, if I'm using uh, SSL or TLS, so all those things. So for um, switching from development to production, well, even after using Mailhog, is not difficult at all. So I strongly recommend Mailhog for your development. So that's it for this tutorial on using Mailhog to test your emails locally. As we have seen, Mailhog is an incredibly useful tool for developers. It allows you to capture and inspect your emails sent from your application without worrying about sending them to real recipients. So this makes it perfect for debugging and testing email functionality in safe controlled environments. So with features like a simple web interface, the easy setup, Mailhog ensures that your email workflows are working correctly even before you go live so happy coding don't forget to so, uh, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have any comments please the comment section is open and um, see you in the next video thank you and um, bye for now